hey you guys welcome or welcome back to another day in the life video this video is going to be a little bit different because we are going to be focusing on two cbt codes only i'm currently billing out patients for their antepartum period where um, we may not have done the delivery so we can no longer bill global um, the codes i'm going to be looking at is the 59425 and the 59426 so I'm actually going to get a piece of paper. Usually I will use a sticky note on my computer screen, but today we're going to have a lot of patients. Okay, so this first patient I have in front of me, um, I have to check her insurance to make sure it was the same one. And it looks like this one was effective on 1-1, one -one, so she may have had another insurance prior to that um, okay now it was the same insurance it looks like she may have changed the plan but the same subscriber ID so I can actually count all the visits so that's great so her first visit was on 9-8 through 322 and then I have to count out how many visits it was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we have ten visits that seventh visit was on 212 and then delivery by another medical group is the note that I'm going to put. So now I have to enter the charge and that was 212 for my data service. We're going to use 59426 since we made it over the seven or more visits. The diagnosis code I'm going to use is probably the Z34 and then depending if this is her first or a um, like a second or third pregnancy. This is her third. So we're going to use Z3483. And then she would have been how many weeks? 31. I'm going to attach the LMP here. And then the charge was entered and I just have to go find it in my work queue. Right here. And then for the charge line or the procedure comment, I'm gonna put data service 9823 through 32224. And then our system comment, so this comment is not going on the claim, but that data service comment did. I'm just going to put that she had 10 visits filled, and delivery by another medical group. And that one is done. So I can cross it out. Now I have to go find my next patient. Okay, so we have quite a few here. Let me see. All 
All right, so I have my next patient here and I have to go through and look at all of her prenatal visits. This one, they're billing an e and &M. I have to review the documentation to make sure that is correct. This one, they're billing an e &M. I have to go and make sure, oh my goodness, this one they billed an e &M. What is happening? <laughs> okay. There are so many visits here. Alright, I think I'm going to sort it by the office that she went to because there are so many charges here. Right. Okay, so I need to check the note for this date on 312. I need to check the note for 221. I need to check the note for 2.22, and what else, 11.9, and 11.24, okay, that's it, so let me pull up the chart. And now we have to go look at all these notes. So 312. Uh, where's 312? Did I write down the wrong date? Oh, 321. I know what it was supposed to be. Okay. Okay, this is supposed to be a routine. Next one we have is 221. Okay, so that one's right because that's an outpatient visit. And then the next day she was seen in the office. What's this for a routine? Mm -hmm. Yes. Next one. Okay, this one was a acute prenatal visit, so that way we can leave that one as an E and M. So I'll cross that one off. And this is my last one to review. This is a regular routine. So three of those visits I need to change to the 0502F. So I'm gonna put in those data services. Just so those are the only ones that I'm looking at. And then I'm gonna make the corrections.
Okay, so the 1124 is corrected. Now I'm fixing the 222. And my last one, 321. Okay, so now that I have all those charges fixed, I'm gonna clear out my filters and remove those data services that I was filtering by. And now I can filter by the F code. So I'm gonna search 0502F and 0501F. That way those are the only charges I'm looking at so I can count out how many visits she had and determine if we are billing the 59425 or 59426. So here's our first one. It is the same insurance throughout the whole pregnancy. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight visits. So it's gonna be the 59426. Her first visit was 929 through 321, the eighth visit, I mean the seventh visit was on 222. So now I can go and enter the charge. All right, so my primary diagnosis code is gonna be the chronic hypertension affecting pregnancy, so 010. Okay, so the 010913, and the weeks of gestation is 29 weeks. My CPT code is 59426. I'm gonna attach the LMP here, and this one looks good. With this payer though, they like to have the U7 and HD. Yes, okay, so this payer, it is a Medicaid UPMC. So they like to have the HD and U7 modifier attached. So I'm gonna add that go down to my procedure comment, data service 929.23 through 321.20.24. There was a total of eight visits. And delivery by another medical group. So now that one is done. All right, now I have to look at my next patient. All right, this patient was seen by multiple different offices during her prenatal visits, but all from the same medical group. So they should all be billing the 0502F code. But let me see. Okay, so nobody billed out her anti of care yet. So let me filter by these offices that I see. take a look and see what they build. Hopefully they build the right codes and I don't have to go and flip for them. All right, we have one E&M bill, but that was at the hospital, so that's correct. All 
Okay, good. We have all 0502Fs and one 0501F. Let's see if the insurance was the same. It was. So now I can write down these dates. So 11, 24, 23 was the first one. 318 was the last one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six visits. So that is going to be the 59425. And the fourth visit, or actually I can use the sixth visit, that was on 318. So let's go enter a charge for 318. We're using 59425. I'm going to attach the LMP. This pair doesn't get any modifiers. And let me take a look at our diagnosis. Looks like we're going to use Z34A3. If this is, yes, this is her third pregnancy. She was 28 weeks for the state of service. And that is done. going down to my procedure comment. This is 11-24-23 through 3-18-2024. And now I can put in my comment. Six. will be visits filled. Delivery by another medical group. And that one is done. So yeah, I have about, who, who knows how many patients I have to do this for. Let me count them out. I have one, two, three, four, five, I think I did that one. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine patients I have to do this same process for over and over and over again. So that is what I'm gonna be doing and that's what the rest of this video is going to be about. So if you feel like this is repetitive, then you can go ahead and click off. But I know some people just like watching me work throughout my work day. So I'm going to continue until we get all these visits out. Um, I did get to delete videos off of my off of my um, photos, so the storage is free. Um, so hopefully, I've been recording all this time. Let me take a look. Oh my gosh, we have been. Okay, so um, let me just continue through. Currently, we are at just um, we are up to like 15 to 20 minutes so far depending on what I edited out, but we're just going to keep on moving here. So I finished those two. Now I have this patient. Oh no, I think I did that wrong. What was her MRN? Uh, 835. Okay, there she is. Okay, so same process. We have to go in and check her visits. Was the insurance the same? It was. So let's see here what all we have. Okay, looks like they built EN, um, not ENM, so 
they built the right codes. So 0502F, 0501F, and let's see what we got here. So her first visit was on 9-11 through 3-22. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That seventh visit was on 2-8. 8, 9, 10, 11. There were a total of 11 visits. So let's go enter that charge. And our data service is going to be for 2-8 right here. We're going to be looking at 59426. My diagnosis will be look like she has anemia complicating her pregnancy. So 099013 32 weeks. Attach all my diagnosis codes and the LMP. And then I will go ahead and add my procedure comment. Data service 9 11 2023 through 3 22 2024. I don't need any modifiers. This was 11 visits. delivered by another medical group. Okay, so that one was done. You see how quickly it goes when they actually use the right codes and you don't have to flip anything? All right, our next patient. So this pair, we won't need any modifiers, but let's go through and look at these visits. Looks like the same insurance throughout the whole pregnancy. That's always good. Okay, there were a couple ENMs, but that was because the patient was seen an outpatient, so um, I don't have to flip those, and they have all F codes, so 0502F, 0501F, and let's count them out. Her first one was on 9-6, her last one was 3-18, and let's count to see how many she has. visits. The seventh one was on one three. All right, let's go enter five nine four two six. Diagnosis code 
looks like we're going to use the Z34 code and she is 25 weeks. So Z34, 82, Z38, 25. Okay, there it is. My procedure comment. Data service 9-6-2023-318-2024. She had 14 OB visits. Delivery by another medical group. So that one is done. Our last patient on this email is, actually that one was the last one. So now I can mark this one as complete. And now moving on to my next patient. So nobody filled out her antepartum care yet. This insurance was effective on 1-1, one, one, so we'll have to see if she had coverage prior, but let's go look at these visits. Okay, so she did have Medicaid for her first visit, and that was an E&M, so that's correct. And then she has one other visit after that. So because she didn't have um, four prenatal visits, we can't build a 59425. We can only build E&Ms. So so, I have to look at the 229 note and see what e and we're going to build. And this is just a regular routine prenatal. Reports occasional positive fetal movements. There's no complications. So, this is just a regular 99212. So, I'm going to make that correction. 99212 and how many weeks was she? 18 weeks. Okay, so she only had two visits billed to this payer, so I had to put that comment in for the reason why we're billing this ENM. And then um, that is it. We can move on to our next patient. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.